Well, greetings viewers, voyeurs, got that funk here, of course. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a fairly lighthearted uh, video, um, just kind of to help me get back into the swing and making videos. Um, as people who've been long-term viewers of this channel may recall, uh, back in the day, sort of 10 years ago, when I first started my Got That Funk channel, uh, I lived with my son in a little flat in uh, Cornwall. And uh, at that time, I was uh, a bit of a hoarder. I used to collect things for no reason. Some things had a reason. I thought they might be worth more money in the future, so I would like collect it. Sometimes I would collect things because I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm never going to see one of those again, so I'd have it. And then sometimes I would collect things because I just got a quirky idea in my head that oh, wouldn't it be kind of fun to have a collection of all kinds of different buttons that were like different shapes. I had great big jars full of buttons that I would see very, here and there and everywhere and, and just collect for no reason. And I had like, I don't know, a couple hundred buttons uh, all the way from like this big uh, to little buttons. And I don't know why I collected them. I was just fascinated by all the different kinds of buttons there were. And I thought I would have a nice little collection. But what are you going to do with that? Who gives a shit about it except for me? So when I decided to get rid of my hoard, uh, which was right before I moved in with my last girlfriend six or seven years ago, uh, I, um, I had to shed a lot of stuff that I didn't really need or had no useful purpose. You know, you can't be filling up someone else's house uh, with all your crap and that kind of thing. So I shed like 90% of my hoard. But some things are genuine collections and some things that I've been collecting for some period of time, I think are, are probably uh, starting to ripen in terms of the, the potential for making some money on my collection. And this fair viewer is where I'm asking for your help. All right. Now, way back, sort of summer of 1999, I think, spring and summer of 99, and then all the way into uh, the year 2000, uh, back in those days, uh, you know, my kids were sort of like eight and nine years old and very much into collecting Pokemon cards. It frightens me to think how much money I spent buying packs of Pokemon cards uh, for my kids. So many, in fact, did I buy that I managed to complete a collection for each one of them. Uh, unfortunately, neither of their collections exist anymore. But you know what? <clears throat> My collection still exists. Now, when I say I've got the whole set of the original Pokemon cards here, I've got to qualify that a little bit. I've got all the Pokemon characters. All of them on those cards. Many of them who have uh, duplicates or dark characters, I've got those as well. I've got, uh, I don't know, dozens and dozens of them that are uh, on plain cards as well as the foil version of the same card. I've got the different generations of the characters as they evolve and all that kind of thing. So I've got, I've got everything here in terms of the characters. What I don't have is like the trainer cards or the energy cards or uh, stuff like that. Of course, I did get them, but because I wasn't really interested in that at the time, I wasn't interested in ever really like trying to collect the entire Pokemon collection uh, because I wouldn't even know what that looked like back then. And I still don't know what it looks like now. And in fact, this is where I need your help. Now, um, I've looked on eBay like a year ago or something, just, just out, of, out of curiosity to so, see so what Pokemon cards go for. And the, the prices seem to vary wildly depending on sort of what edition of release they were, and everything like that. Uh, and I don't really have uh, enough sort of proper information on how to even find out, you know, how you prove what edition your cards are to uh, people who might be collectors. I don't even know what you look for necessarily. All I can tell you is these cards have been sitting in this plastic since the year 2000 and haven't been removed since, okay? As I say, I started collecting in 99 and carried on collecting into the year 2000. Every single one of the Pokemon characters is there, including their dark generations, if they had them, and, uh, and the foil generations. I don't know if I have every single uh, foil card that came out, but I certainly have dozens and dozens and dozens of foil cards, like Nine Tails there, for example, is foil, uh, Nido King there, Oil. I got loads and loads and loads. And uh, 
I need your help. I, I don't think I need these anymore. Now, one thing I wanted to find out about, I mean, I would be quite happy to sell the entire collection in one. And, and in fact, that was what my original plan was, was to save it for 20 years and then see what you could get for the whole collection. Um, and I'm aware, therefore, though, that I might be able to break the collection up and sell it for more money, uh, one card or groups of cards at a time. Problem with that is once you break the setup, you can no longer sell the whole set. So uh, what makes the most sense? I need your advice. If you're a Pokemon geek, um, you know, how jealous are you of this? I mean, let me let me just show you. Let's see, we've got uh, every one of these is 18 because there's nine on this side and nine different ones on that side. So that's 18, 36, 58, no, 50, whatever it is. It's after that, 54. Um, and then it would be 72. So what's that? One, two, three, four is of 72. One, two, three, four. That's 144. One, two, three, four. And a further 72. Do the math. 216, is it? 226, 216, whatever it is, something like that. That's what I've got there uh, in Pokemon character cards. Um, so, I need your help. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Um, that's pretty much the best collection that I still have. Uh, most of my other collections I've either uh, dispersed or, or just literally thrown away. Um, and I don't regret it. It's kind of nice not having a horde to tote around with you everywhere, uh, even though it's... Yeah, I, I can't I, even even though it's been years since I gave my hoard up. There's parts of me that's oh, I wish I still had all my VHS tapes and stuff like that. Anyway, I digress. I uh, thank you all for watching this video. I look forward to the conversation in the comment section, and I will see you again next time. Until then, may all your ups and downs be ups.